Hi, my name is Dylan. I'm with Precision Welding Supply. Today we're going to go over the general setup of the Model 217 by Arc Machines. First things first is opening up the machine. For newer people, for guys that are just getting into orbital welding, you know, this is a lot easier of a machine to use compared to the 207. This machine should be on a dedicated uh, AC input line and it can switch automatically between the 110 volt or 220 volt. This adapter will not have a uh, Amphenol plug. The weld head's Amphenol is gonna go directly to the machine. So what a lot of guys do is they screw this in until this gets tight and then you still have all this wiggle. So you wanna be doing is kind of pushing this in and then screwing this down until it gets tight, kind of giving that a wiggle and push till everything seats in. And then you'll have your two power lines that'll go from the weld head to the adapter. Adapter will go to the power supply and gas will go directly to the power supply as well. So you have your ethernet port and your USB port here. You also have your printer able to print out your welds and your weld procedures and any information on the weld. From this screen, you have your create schedule, your open last library and setup, and then also your power down and your about the machine. The first thing that we wanna do is calibrate the weld head. So it, there's a couple different uh, ways you can get into the calibration of this weld head. You can either create a new schedule, go into your library and choose a existing schedule that you've already created, or you can even hit this uh, open last button, which will open the last procedure that you were in. From here on the right side, you have your blue calibration button. The calibration screen wants you to make sure that the weld head is safe and clear to uh, rotate and move. If nothing's jamming it, there's no tungsten sticking in the way or anything like that. You also have the options to jog the weld head, either reverse or forward, home the rotor, all stop, and uh, start the calibration. So we can start the calibration by hitting the green start button. It will either say that it is complete or it will give you either a counterclockwise or a clockwise error. So you will need to adjust the trim pot on the weld head in order to, for the machine to make sure that the head is in the proper adjustment. Do another calibration once you make your adjustments and once it says calibration complete, then from there it'll say that you know the weld head model has been calibrated and the, it'll give you your date and time and you can also put in the serial number there if you want to. After you've kind of completed the calibration, your next step is gonna be to uh, install your tungsten. going to want to loosen up the set screw in the weld head and then insert your tungsten as high up as it can go so you have enough clearance to slide your tubing in uh, and then you can put your feeler gauge down and drop the tungsten down on your feeler gauge setting that arc gap. In the weld menu you can switch between a test and weld mode. You can home weld head really see it finding home and showing you the speed. So we can do that. We can also print the schedule once it's completed. From the screen, we can start a arc start counter. Um, you can kind of see what our gap should be calling for, uh, what materials you have, and you can also adjust a percentage bump in the procedure if you're starting to notice that the weld's a little cold or uh, a little too hot, and those kind of things. When powering down the machine, we want to make sure that we go back to home from the weld schedule, um, and we want to power down the computer before hitting the switch. So we want to make sure that we hit that shutdown button, and then it gives you another check to make sure you do want to shut down. We want to hit that shutdown button um, and allow uh, five to 10 seconds for the uh, machine to go black. Once it goes completely black, then we can power off the machine with 
the uh, switch on the left hand side. Thanks for watching and hope this video was informative for you guys and if you have any questions at all just uh, reach out. Thank you.